Good morning. For the past five years, the Autism Resource Specialists have had the privilege of working with nearly 7,000 families at our five clinical sites. We are constantly reminded of the strength and determination it takes to ensure that children get access to the services and supports that they need, often tasks that must be accomplished with extreme challenge. Our families educate and empower us to do our jobs each and every day as we watch with great inspiration the way that they do theirs. I now have the honor of introducing the first of our two parent speakers today. Nicole Barros is the mother of three children, Javon, Janae, and Jaden. Since Jaden was diagnosed with autism four years ago, Nicole has poured herself into learning more about autism, finding resources, empowering other families, and advocating for, her, for Jaden's best interest. She's an incredible mom, and I'm so thrilled to have gotten to know her. Please welcome Nicole Barrows. Thank you, Sherry. Okay, I tend to talk a lot, so I'm going to try and keep this short and don't go over my time. But um, my journey with autism, can everyone hear me okay? Okay. My journey with autism um, started about four years ago at Jaden's 18-month checkup. So we go in for his checkup, and we fill out this little questionnaire. And some of the stuff Jaden couldn't do, but I didn't think anything of it. My oldest son, Javon, was highly intelligent and gifted. He did everything early. So with Jaden, I just thought, okay, that's fine. So we go in, and the doctor's looking, and he's like, hmm, I think Jaden might be autistic. And I really didn't know what that meant. And I was like, no, I don't think so, but who, what do I know? The doctor knows better. So I said, okay, I'll go ahead and have the test. So we went to BMC. We did the testing. And sure enough, Jaden was diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder and developmental delay. And I remember sitting in the parking lot after getting that diagnosis, and I felt like my whole world was crashing down on me. I had no idea what autism was. Um, I didn't know how I was going to deal with this. And the thing that saved me is we got his diagnosis at Boston Medical Center. And when I was there, Sherry was there the day that I got the diagnosis and told me it was going to be okay. And she gave me a folder from the Autism Consortium. And in that folder, it had a book talking about autism, what it meant, um, the different types of autism. And um, it gave me referrals and everything that I needed for a starting point. So as I'm driving home, I'm like crying, tears are just running down, and Jaden's with me, and he's two, he doesn't know any better, and he's like, Mommy, what's wrong? And I was just like crying even more, and I'm like, Jaden, it's okay. And then I decided at that point, either I was going to let this diagnosis take control of me, or I was going to take control of it. So I decided the latter. I poured my whole life into attending conferences, joining support groups, um, taking classes, it was a 24-hour job. Um, and when, when I got the diagnosis, they told me that Jaden needed 27 hours of therapy in order for him to get better. He could either stay the same, get worse, or get better. And I was determined for him to get better. So I started calling around, and people told me there was a three-month waiting list, or we could only give you 16 hours. And to me, that wasn't good enough. They told me he needed 27 hours. I was determined to get him 27 hours. So I kept calling around and calling around. And finally, I got um, Beacon Services, who could give me 25 hours. And I was like, OK, I'll take that. And in addition, prior to me getting the diagnosis, Jaden had early intervention um, because he wasn't, he wasn't speaking and he wasn't doing certain things that he should do. So in addition to the ABA services, through early intervention, he had a dance therapy, he had dance therapy a speech therapist, and a behavioral therapist. And we found that Jaden learned better with music. That was another thing that helped. And ABA was the most important. Um, Jaden is a very visual learner. Like the, he needs the pictures. It helps him a lot. Um, so what I did, which was really important, is at the time, Jaden was in daycare. So I had the therapist not only go into daycare and come into our home so that everybody was working on the same page and that different, ther like I wasn't doing something, the therapist wasn't doing something, and the um, daycare provider wasn't doing something else. We all had to be on the same page doing the same thing. 
And like I said, when Jaden first got diagnosed, he had autism spectrum disorder and developmental delay. And through all the hard work, fast forward three years later, he now has PDD NOS. Um, I remember when I first got the diagnosis, um, and I think back to the things where I'm where I could say, okay, maybe there was something wrong with him. When he was a baby, he would just take his, uh, his hand and stick it directly in his eye, and it didn't bother him at all. Or he broke numerous high chairs, banging his head back and forth and back and forth. And I was just like, oh, he must be crazy like his dad. Didn't know any better. <laughs> or he would just sit with toys, and he, had, he loved Thomas the trains. He would just play with them back and forth, back and forth. Or he would stare at the TV and just watch TV. And I was like, wow, this is great. I have the best child ever. Plays by himself. He doesn't cry. I didn't know any better until I got the diagnosis. Um, and so I'm gr- in all of this, I'm grateful that I had Sherry there to give me a book as a starting point so I can know what direction. Like, these are the support groups out there. These are the referrals out there. These are the different, um, I remember taking a class through Children's Hospital. They had an um, un- understanding autism. And I eventually joined um, TIL, which is um, Toward Independent Living and Learning. They have an amazing autism support group for families. Um, today I run the East Boston support group, and I also um, teach other parents doing a behavioral class on different things to help your child with um, negative behaviors. Um, I'm actually doing good on time. (laughs) Um, Let me just try and think. Um, Oh, and I wanted a few takeaways that I wanted for the parents. Um, I literally turned my whole life into Jaden. Like, everything was about Jaden. And I really didn't have time for my husband because I thought, okay, he's my husband. He'll always be there. It's okay. And it wasn't okay because I totally ignored him and focused everything on Jaden. And it really affected our marriage. And, you know, I know there's a lot of families that don't want to talk about it, but when you have a disabled child, it really puts a strain on your marriage. And as a mother, you want to do everything for your child, and you just assume everyone else is always going to be there. And that's not the case. I have an amazing husband who stuck by me. Um, And I remember we ended up going to therapy just to get our marriage back on track. And the therapist told me something which always sticks in the back of my head. She said, you have to think of your family as a pie. And in there, part of, you have to slice that pie and always make sure you have a piece or set aside time for your husband. And if you don't, that's not good. Um, I'm working on it. I can't say I've done it, but it's a progress that I'm trying to do. Um, And I also want to tell parents about being in denial. Um, There's a lot of parents like me in the beginning, I thought, okay, my first child is gifted. It's just going to take, he's just taking longer. Or, no, there's nothing wrong with him. He's just, um, as my family would say, he's just acting out. And if you get someone that tells you that, you know, especially your doctor, your primary care doctor, you know, I think your child might be autistic, please go ahead and just get the testing. What's the worst, you know, They could say, no, there's nothing wrong, okay. Or they could say, yes, there is something wrong. Because if there is something wrong, the sooner you start therapy, the better off the chances your child is. I talked to some parents who were in denial until their child was like eight or nine years old. And by then it was so hard. Jade, unfortunately, started therapy at two. He's six now and he can do so much more that he couldn't do. He couldn't talk. I used to have to figure out what he was trying to say through his yelling and screaming and through him, like, beating me up. I used to go to work with bruises, and luckily my job knew that I had a son who had autism because I wouldn't want them to think my husband was abusing me. Um, So please, I know it's hard, but please not try and be in denial and get the help as soon as possible. And... Also making sure that everyone is on the same page and working on the same thing because it truly makes a difference. Um, When Jaden's therapists were there, I made sure that I was there with them, looking and learning to see what they were doing so that when they left, it wasn't over. I took over because you can't, as a mother, you can't just say, okay, it's the therapist's job, it's the school's job. No, it's everyone's job together. So, and I encourage parents, you are your child's biggest advocate. No one is going to fight for a child like you. So the more you know, the better you are to other families. And um, 
Oh, I'm down to one minute, so I'll try and sum this up, sum this up really quick. Um, I want the parents to know that you're not alone. Um, I know it's difficult, but you can get you can get through it. Um, just stay strong, and it does get better. You're going to have bad days. You're going to have good days, but it does get better. Um, and if and the most the, the most important thing I would say is families, please share with other families what you're going through. You might think you're the only one experiencing this, but you're not. And the more people that share, the more we can learn from one another's experiences. And in closing, I would just like to say I'm proud to be a mother of an autistic child, and I wish you all well.